What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in another video on the channel, and today we have got another review hitting you two days in a row with the review, so if you're feeling the content, hit the thumbs up, subscription, and I always say it, yes, it's cringy, YouTubers ask for it, but it does help, so, I'm serious, like, just let's click, eat, look, I'm just playing. <laughs> anyway, that was so cringe. Today we took it to Popeyes, I got tagging a bunch of stuff on social media again, you know, if you guys ask, I will deliver, so thank you again for your input, and here we are, Popeyes has two new menu items, one has been marked for a nationwide release, the other one is only in limited places right now, so I've heard, some places have it and some places don't, I was fortunate enough to run into both, so we do have Popeyes new Wicked Shrimp I got the combo over here with uh, fries and a biscuit, and I got another 14 piece, I think it's 14 pieces it comes with, so just the regular one over here, and I was fortunate enough, I was really, really excited about these, but these are jalapeno poppers. I don't know if they're everywhere. Like I said, I've been talking to a couple of people that do reviews, and they said that they went to like three different locations. There's only one in the immediate area of me, and we did find it. They've got two new condiments. I'm only going to try one, and I'll explain it to you in a second, but this one I'm actually really excited about too. Red pepper jelly. Not sure what to think about that. Biscuits do come with jelly. And this one is the smoky garlic tartar sauce. If you're interested, here you can come take this one because I hate pickles and we can't do that. And if you ever look at the ingredients in tartar sauce, pickles is the third ingredient in there. If it's anywhere, it could be the 25th ingredient. I'm not eating it. So it is what it is. So instead, I do have some backup. I've got some Chick-fil-A sauces. I got Chick-fil-A. Wow. Chick-fil-A sauce. I've got some Polynesian Chick-fil-A sauce, and of course, barbecue sauce. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that, but anyway, before I bore you way too much, I forgot my straw. They didn't give me any sauces. No jelly, no anything, but they, I did ask for the red pepper jelly. She said it was in there. I didn't ask for the other ones because, well, I don't know. Usually when people at Popeyes are not very nice to me, and I just want to be on my way. But anyway, let's get into this first. I'm going to start with the Wicked Shrimp. I'm not going to put anything on it. I think these are two in one. I'm not going to lie, when I opened this up, I was kind of disappointed in how the shrimp looked. It just looks like it's very, very heavily breaded. But when I actually touch down on it, let me see if I can... It doesn't seem like there's... It doesn't matter. Just bite the first one. Let's just try it. It's the same batter that you would get on the spicy chicken. Um, I don't know if you think the spicy chicken is spicy. It's not. I did get the spicy um, for these. But the thing that I'm noticing, to be perfectly honest, the breading ratio. Like, am I crazy? Or is there, like, not really a lot of shrimp and there's, like, a lot of breading? Well, I'm trying to just, like, look at this. There seems to be a lot of breading compared to shrimp. The batter is what you expect. The shrimp, it's not much shrimp. It's more breading than anything. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest when I say this. I believe I got tenders in here too, didn't I? I did. See did you see this? This is a tender. I just want to show you for, for comparison. Obviously, a tender is going to be bigger. But look at when I open this up. Do you see the amount of breading? There's much more chicken than there is breading. And that is what I expect from these. And it's just... Look at the difference when I take this apart. Like, this is 100% breading. You can't even really see the shrimp. They're not jumbo shrimp at all. They're, they're like salad shrimp. I can't say that I dislike them because it's Popeye's breading and it tastes like Popeye's breading. There's just way too much breading. It's not going to stop me because I'm a cheap date from eating them. But if you want me to give you my honest, unbiased opinion, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed in them. To, to be 100%, I'm still going to eat them. Like, I don't waste food anyway, and I, I eat pretty much anything because I'm like a human trash disposal. But if you're a person that's been excited about these shrimp, the taste is not bad. It's not, but I just feel like there's almost too much breading. Like, I'm getting all breading. Like, all breading. Tasty breading. But if I want fried breading, I just go get fried breading. Does that make sense? So... I can't, I can't recommend those. I would tell you, like, Popeye's is known for their chicken. Stick with the chicken. The chicken's still second, hands down. Second to none, in my opinion, as far as the chains go. Look at the difference. Like, that's what, that's what I want. 
That's what I want. I'm still gonna eat it. I don't care. Like at the end of the day, but I'm, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy them again. I would just get a bunch of chicken. That's just my opinion. But this is what I wanted to get to. I've been just as excited, if not more excited, about this. And I'm gonna bust this bad boy open too. The red pepper jelly. Give you a look on the inside. See what it looks like. There you go. Back and we go. The poppers are very big. Big poppers. And from what I can tell just by looking on the outside, they're halved jalapenos. They're not rings like people would expect. They're halved jalapenos. So that's a good thing. I'm interested to see what the inside uh, cheese is. Is it cream cheese? Is it cheddar cheese? Is it mozzarella? Mozzarella. But we shall find out. That's cream cheese. So there you go. They're very mild. Obviously, they've been de-seeded. You can totally tell. They're not spicy. They're not crazy spicy. You do get the taste. Good cream cheese inside. They didn't skimp on it, which is a good thing. There's nothing that really stands out about it um, uh, uh, from a traditional popper, to be honest. Um, I've had poppers pretty much everywhere, and it tastes, it tastes just like it. There's nothing that makes it distinct and says, oh, this is a Popeye's popper. So let's see what it does when I add this red pepper jelly to it. I can double dip, even though I didn't really dip yet, because... Obviously, I'm not sharing with anyone. So let's see what this red pepper jelly is talking about. There it is. All right, let's do it. Okay, I have to try this by itself. It's definitely jelly. It's not if it's sticky. Not bad. It's got a little sweet, little heat to it. You know, it, it, it's... You know what the true test of this will be, though? It adds a little bit of sweetness to the jalapeno popper and definitely makes it better, for sure. You do get that sweet jelly taste, then a little kick at the end. Nothing crazy spicy. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm a spiceaholic to a certain extent, but nothing crazy spicy about it. It definitely gives a distinctness and says, okay, this is a Popeye's jalapeno popper. But that's, that's all of the sauce is doing. But the real test, does it make the biscuit palatable? You guys know my love affair with Popeye's biscuits. They're always, you need something on them. <laughs> or else they're not going to bring in the points. So let's see if it does it in the biscuit. I'm a fan of the red pepper jelly. I am. I'm, I don't think everybody would like it. It's kind of a weird thing for some people because you definitely get a jelly texture, taste, and then it's hot. So spicy jelly for most people is going to be an immediate turnoff. But I'm just looking at it as a hot and sweet. And I, and I like it. I don't know if you will. Personally, I do. I do. What do you want me to tell you? I know not everybody's going to like this, though. Let me know in the comments if you tried the red pepper jelly. Let me know what you think. Because I'm interested to know how other people, if they got a hold of it, feel about it. Yeah, it just tastes like spicy smuckers. To be honest, but I, I don't know why, but I can't stop eating it. We're going to go with the Chick-fil-A sauce in my uh, wicked, non-wicked, unbreaded, kind of breaded, way too much breaded shrimp. Not bad. I'm, I'm just, there's such a letdown. It really is. It really is. Just, just like, look, look at what, come on, bro. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I, like, I can't hype this up like this is the, the, the gospel. Look at this. Look at, look at this, like. Bro. <laughs> come on, look. Honestly, real talk. I just took all the breading off. There's no breading in here. This is all breading. I wish that I had better news for you. <laughs> Bro, like, come on. Like, and you can tell what they did. You know what they did? They did what, like, my mom and my dad used to do when they was younger. They would try to stretch stuff, right? And that, that concludes the review. If you didn't want to see anything other, but I'm going to tell you some stories now about what this reminds me of because I'm all down the road. My dad one time was making eggs for breakfast. I, I don't know why I think of this weird stuff. And I wanted more eggs. 
scrambled eggs, right? And the eggs, the cheese. I like these. These are your food. Some grits. Never had grits. It's a whole other ballgame. I did grits in a mukbang, but I'm out. And uh, corned beef hash. I made a lot of corned beef hash in my house. Where's my straw, bro? I really need to get a straw. That's an L. Whatever. So, I remember because I used to really, really like eggs with cheese as a kid. And he didn't want to make more, but I said, Dad, I want more eggs. So he went on my plate. I was probably like five. And he took his fork and he spread them out. And he was like, there you go. That's that shrimp. <laughs> That's what I feel like. They're like, I know y'all want more shrimp, but we're just going bread the heck out of this. And we're going to stress this shrimp out because the shrimp actually looks like they, they like flattened it in order to make like, like a bigger piece than it really is. But when you open it up, there's no shrimp in there. Like none. And taste wise is decent. Tastes like Popeye's breading. But, and it does taste better than their regular shrimp. But there's nothing that like I would be like, oh yeah, these are wicked. You gotta go cop these. This is not, I cannot put my name on this and say must cop. At all. So, 100%. If somebody get them for you, like eat them. You'll still like them. But, you know. The theme, the jingle says, love that chicken from Popeye's. Like, I understand why, because I got the spicy tender right here, and this going, look at all that meat, bro, come on. That's quite, they call it Popeye's for real, like Popeye, isn't it Popeye's chicken and biscuits, isn't that full name? Or they just call themselves Popeye's now. Look, when Popeye's first opened, it was serving nothing but chicken and biscuits. Oh, this, even the spicy is better on this. Or is this mild and this is spicy? Hold on a second. I might have been eating mild the whole time. I was. That's mild. It doesn't matter. It's still, what I said still rings true. You can see it here. They're not like it changed. The flavor is definitely better on the spicy. But I prefer spicy chicken to, to regular, even just the chicken from Popeyes. I don't know how to give me mild. Where am I see that? The spicy is definitely better. But it's the same thing, dude. Like, there's there's no shrimp in this. Look. I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. I don't want nobody to tell. I put my name on it. I got to keep it real. You know? And still, it's still fire because, you know, like, you could probably bread, like, somebody's, like, big toe in Popeye's chicken batter and it still would be decent. But it is a letdown. Still going to smash down. You know how parents do that though? You stretch out the food like that? Cause that's what it feels like. See, that's the, the probably the most intact shrimp right here. This is the one they use for the commercial. Look at this one. I'm tired of opening these up. Yeah, see, look, look, look. There you go. Look. And that's what came out with this. <laughs> yeah, like, I, look, it, it, it is what it is. The batter's still good. I eat the skin from the bottom of the chicken, like from the box. I still eat that. Like, I'm still going to eat it. But, major letdown. I should have got more of the red pepper jelly. I can't tell you anything about tartar sauce. But, I'm a, I'm a sucker for poppers. Definitely sour cream going on on the inside. And this jelly, I love it. I'm interested to see what other people think about it. For sure. Hmm. <laughs> you gotta eat stuff even if you don't like it. You ever watch the show Everybody Hates Chris? It was like Chris Rock's childhood. And the dad, Terry Crews played the dad. And he like would eat all the food on the table for like leftovers. Because he didn't want to waste it. That's how we grew up too. So, the tenders are fire. They always are. Even though I'm like disappointed in the chicken, the chicken, the shrimp, I'm still gonna eat it. Maybe that's why I'm not the best reviewer in the world. But I, I think I was relatively honest with this. Like, I'm still gonna eat it though. I'm not here to waste food. I'm gonna waste food. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'm sure it's worse than a Polynesian shrimp. But when I grew up, and a lot of people I know grew up like this too. 
if you didn't finish your food, like if you took and put it on your plate and you and you didn't eat it, like you got in trouble. Like, they make you sit there until you finished it. I never had that issue. My sister did though. She was the one. I never complained. It's Polynesian sauce again, by the way. I never complained about anything that my parents made. It didn't matter. They knew I didn't like pickles, so they would make me stuff on the side. Like, as a kid, I didn't eat fried fish either. And me, my mom used to get fried fish all the time. Like, she would make it. Whiting. She would make whiting. And I didn't like it. I think because we used to go to the fish market and I like that smell. So, she would make me fish sticks. And I would eat those. But, I was never that kid, like, if they made, like, spaghetti or, like, Whatever, I was like, oh, I don't want spaghetti. I didn't care. I, I eat anything. And I didn't waste anything. And going away to college, it made me really miss the cooking. Hmm. In my house. So I would come home. I only got to go home from school. People really think Polynesian sauce is better than chick fil A. It's not. What if you did both? I heard this was a thing. That's what it is. You got a little both. That's fire. But I go over to school, I don't go home twice a year. I went home for like a week. In the summer, look how much grease is on the bottom of this. I'm not eating that. I'm eating that. No, I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to try not to eat it, but probably eat it still at the end. Look at this. There's a little grease on the bottom. That's wild, man. Like, you can see. I ain't eating that. I still want to eat these, though. But. I only went home a week when school ended because we had to go back for, like, summer off-season stuff. And then... Um, uh, for Christmas. Rarely did I ever go home for Thanksgiving during school because we were playing still. So we didn't, we would eat Thanksgiving with our teammates at like a coach's house or like, you know, one of the you know, kids or local kids, like the moms would cook or something. So when I would get home, there'd be like leftovers for like four days because at that point, my parents, both me and my sister weren't home. My sister was away at school at the same time. So there was always mad leftovers. I would go home and just go in the fridge and just eat everything. I didn't even care. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's like four days old. I just don't care. So, I don't know if your your parents could cook or whoever cooked for you if they was good cooks, but I sure love the way my, my parents cooked, man. For the most part, my mom was the cook. My dad only cooked like three things. Breakfast food, spaghetti. And he went through like a phase where he thought he was Emerald Lagasse, the chef. And he would make like whatever come up in the cookbook. He did that for like a year. That's pretty much it though. Spaghetti bolognese spe specifically. No other kind. Spaghetti bolognese. Always. Because that's what he liked. So don't ask. If I got the message, your dad's cooking tonight. I prepared myself for bacon and eggs. Spaghetti bolognese. Or, I don't know what he attempted to make, but it didn't turn out right from Emerald Lagasse. That's pretty much it. But I still never complained because, like, I, don't know, I, was, I was grateful, man. Like, my parents, you know, I, I know it sounds stupid, but, like, they didn't have to cook. You know, they could have just been, like, go get something or, I don't know. The other thing we never did either was we never, like, I always thought this was normal. Like, you know, I, I used to go to my friends' houses, and, like, and they would have, like, a dining room table and everything was just set up, and they would eat as a family. We never ate a one time. There's the only time. Tacos. If we had tacos, we ate together. And it was always on a weekend because my parents both worked. I played sports. My sister played sports. We were always all over the place, so we never really, like, did all that stuff. So, tacos. But other than that... You come home and fix you a plate. Everybody else, your parents might be sleeping, your sister in, in her room doing whatever, you know? 
I got a table. A kitchen table. We never did like that dining stuff. Like, it just seemed crazy to me. Not in a bad way, but like we didn't do it. You know, like a lot of my friends, like when I go to their house and it's like six thirty, and like their mom be like, "Oh, we're eating dinner soon," and like they would all sit down at the table, and I'm like, "What is this shit?" <laughs> I wish I was kidding either. You know, I, we didn't do any of that. I don't think we had a dining room. You have a dining room? Do you guys have dining rooms growing up? My house wasn't big. In fact, I eat all the, no, it's a short one. In fact, I shared a room with my sister until I was like, maybe 12. We had one room, bunk beds. And it was pretty small, like, there was enough room for the bed, and like a like a like a like a small desk that had like my my the Super Nintendo on it. So for the most part, like one of us would like hang out, usually her in, the, in like the living room, and I was like usually in the room playing Nintendo because that's where the Nintendo was. But we didn't have a big house at all. We had a kitchen, a living room, a bathroom, and two bedrooms. Four people and a dog. No basement. It wasn't until I was 12 and we moved again, because, you know, back background info. All that's left is a press. I'm going to eat that greasy piece of shrimp right there. This case is happening. I grew up in the projects until I was like six, and then I moved to the suburbs, but we still live in a small place. And then when I turned 12, at that point, my sister was like a junior in high school sharing a room with her, like a 12-year-old brother. Imagine that. You know, and when we turned 12, when I turned 12, I should say, we moved again. And finally, we had our own rooms. And I remember I thought it was so cool. I even kept the bunk bed. <laughs> but I, I just remember being like, well, I have a room. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I have a house, so it's even crazier for me. But at that age, you know, just like, Having a place where I could be like, yo, this is my room. Like, get out of my room. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get to say all that stuff. You know? Never. And, you know, I, I really have a lot of admiration for my parents because when we lived in the project, it was even worse. Like, I don't know if you ever, or maybe you do, but in this area, the project are like sky rise, high rises, but it ain't the Hilton. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's, it's the stuff you hear about the projects is like, it is what it is, you know, like my grandmother raised my dad in that same building and my babysitter until I was like five or six years old was my dad's babysitter. Like most people don't get out, you know, like your second, third generation. And I was to a certain extent, but my parents, they both didn't go to college, you know, they like some college, but they had me and my sister very young and they... You know, they worked like 40 hours a week, overtime if they could, and, and you know, saved up money and, and got us out of the hood, and, and we moved to the suburbs. And, you know, I guess for some people, that's like a big deal in a sense of, you know, because of how I was brought up, like people are like, oh, I'm not really this or that. I've always been biracial, and when I lived in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the projects, you know, I got teased because I wasn't black enough. And then I moved to the suburbs, and all of a sudden, I was the blackest kid there. <laughs> that was really bad. I was greasy, but I still I don't waste food. And, you know, that's the funny thing about upbringing, but some people, oh, well, you're not really black enough because you didn't. When I moved to the suburbs, man, I'll never forget just thinking, like, holy, there's just so much grass. <laughs> there was no grass where I lived, man. Like a little patch. That's it. It was all concrete. So, you know, I got so much respect for my parents because they, they worked to get us from the small apartment to the slightly bigger apartment to a house, you know? And I worked my tail off in high school to get a scholarship so that they didn't have to worry about that, you know? So, just cherish your stuff, man. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'm just telling you how I grew up. 
But anyway, this is the greasiest stuff ever. In synopsis, the poppers are dope. It's not really the poppers though. It's more the red pepper jelly for me. You might not like it. The wicked shrimp is entirely way too overbreaded. And the shrimp is entirely not enough shrimp. But I'm not going to say that. If you're a, a food snob, like you're a person who really is like not like me and you, you don't like certain stuff, I think you'll really be let down by those 110%. And my advice to those people would be to save your money. My advice to anybody, honestly, um, would, would be just to stick with the chicken. It's miles better than that shrimp. Uh, I was really disappointed in that. But anyway, I wanted to do this stuff. You guys have been tagging me and stuff on social media. And I always say if something's new, I'm going to go and try to hunt it down and, and get it get it in a video for you guys. So I did. I love you guys. It's been a very long day. Excuse me. I hate burping on camera. I think it's so disgusting. It's been a very long day. And we'll be back tomorrow. And <laughs> crazy enough, I, I won't be in the kitchen again tomorrow, man, because I, I have something planned. So the next content you see will net be takeout. So there's only one cooked, home cooked video, two home cooked this week. But this is a part of it. Can't change the job. And that's what it is. So people who like the home cooked stuff, it will be back. But when new stuff comes out, I, I go get it. The, the minute it comes out and the minute I have access to it. So we'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love you. The hand signs, they made it to YouTube.